In this module, we'll cover the management of capital intensive energy saving projects. The aim is to ensure that viable projects are not turned down at the initial stage of evaluation based solely on the investment required without an appreciation of the potential savings and the economic Im impact on the business. Improvements involving technical changes usually require investment. Often walkthrough energy audits identify several ECOs requiring investment and ballpark figures on investment and savings are estimated. These ECOs will be placed on the agenda of a management review to decide on further action. Once an ECO is regarded as viable and approved, it's upgraded to an energy saving project. It will be included in the next action plan. The first step is a detailed energy audit to derive precise investment and savings figures so that top management can decide whether to advance towards implementation. This slide demonstrates the overview of a walkthrough and detailed energy audits. A walkthrough energy audit identifies ECOs using available information such as equipment nameplate, specifications, procedures, daily logs, operator interviews and other methods uh, so that it can come up with an estimate of approximate energy saving and investment impacts. A detailed energy audit involves the collection of detailed actual energy data followed by a simulation of the improvement measures on the existing site to accurately project savings. A detailed financial analysis to determine the life cycle economics is also conducted. This will provide critical information to the management in evaluating investment viability. Energy saving projects following detailed energy audits are conducted in parallel with energy system operations intended to deliver continual improvements in performance. The detailed energy audit is part of the implementation phase of the energy management system's goal of continual performance improvement. A detailed energy audit meters energy use to obtain specific data and information, which is then processed and analysed to establish the technical viability and practicality of the proposed energy saving project. The financial analyses covering the life cycle of the project are also conducted to enable top management to fairly judge the business viability of the project. The objectives of a detailed energy audit are to use current and raw data to test the practicality of the project, to determine the viability of the technology, to specify an implementation method and the expected output, to analyse the financials and the project's life cycle economics, and to define the project for e implementation. Following the detailed energy audit, the results are reported to a management review. During the review, the investment and implementation plan are evaluated and a go or no go decision is reached. Once approved, the proposal becomes an introduction of a capital intensive energy project. So in summary, as part of an energy review, a walkthrough energy audit is conducted that identifies ECOs with technical aspects requiring investment. The ECOs are identified using available information such as equipment nameplate, specifications, procedures, daily logs, operator interviews and other methods that allow approximate energy savings and investment impact to be estimated. The audit findings are presented as an implementation recommendation to the management review. Once the recommendation is approved, it's upgraded to an energy saving project for further viability study and a detailed energy audit. Detailed energy audits collect actual energy data to simulate the improvements to accurately project savings. A detailed financial analysis to determine the life cycle economics is also part of that audit. The results are once again evaluated at a management review. And once approved, it's regarded as an, as an introduction of capital intensive energy project.